Hi, my name is Lee, and I'm making this screencast to talk about FLX, my implementation of Flex with more reasonable sorting. Flex is a way um, that's uh, used with I do to transform a pattern into essentially a pattern with dot star inserted in between the letters. So um, it allows you to narrow with looser matching. Um, against a collection of strings. The problem with Flex is um, I often work, work with projects that has thousands of files. So um, a short string that I think would be unique to the file name I have in mind is actually not all that unique and would match against a large subset of these files. And the way I do with Flex turned on presents the subset is uh, suboptimal. Now, that's why I never liked Flex until I actually tried it in uh, Sublime Text 2. And I realized that it's really, really has the potential to be really useful. Um, so I set out to implement Sublime Text 2's um, fuzzy matching algorithm um, for Emacs. Um, the implementation is complete for I do, uh, and I'm working uh, to get it going for Helm. So far for Helm, there's only a demo. So let's get to talking about what, um, how it's better than Flex. Um, FLX focuses on uh, the base file name first, uh, and then it focuses on the beginnings of words, so you can form an abbreviation easily. And um, after that, it focuses on contiguous sections of letters in words. So um, essentially, from that large collection of files I was looking at, if I know there is a file uh, with um, called ticket with attachment, uh, for example, and so I can do um, ticket with attachment, and the first match is uh, the one I had in mind, and the next match is actually also reasonably close. But it's a worse match because there's extra words in between ticket with and um, the rest of the string. Uh, now, if we try it in default flex in the window below, um, uh, ticket with attachments. Uh, now, this uh, the results returned are kind of jumbled up. I mean, the sequence is matched against this first file name which has these letters in random places in words and it's it's just there and so it's not very useful uh, now for another example uh, if I know there's um, a full path an app slash controller slash admin controller so I can do I can try to do app controller admin and I, uh, again, the first match is app assets JavaScript admin. Now, that sequence again matches, but that's clearly not um, the first match um, I want to see. Now, in FLX, uh, if we try it, um, of course, I pre cooked it, so it's going to match. Um, app controllers admin controller and the next match is app controller admin admin controller so there's an additional path segment in between so both these are probably more useful than uh, this um, asset JavaScript um, thing uh, the other difference uh, between FLX and flex is um, if you choose a substring for example if I want to do eval current buffer so I type ECB I can't do that because ECB uh, is a substring match of uh, one of the selections, so it's going to prefer that and only show me substring matches. With FLX, you are always doing um, flex as well as substring. It just tries to sort the results in, in a useful way. So, for example, if you type ECB, you get ELIN current buffer. Um, eval current buffer. Now if you do EVCB you get eval current buffer first. Uh, but what if you actually wanted to do ECB activate? 
so you can do ECB now you get the abbreviations and you just keep typing the substring match you want and it boosts the power of the substring match to the front so as soon as you press a dash ECB activates jumps to the front it's not ready for prime time yet but please try it and file bugs thank you